Hi welcome to MTPK channel. In this video I will show you how to build a virtualization server. First of all, I add a 256GB solid state drive to my computer. Next is to choose the operating system for the server. I use another computer to create the OS installer. The operating system used in this video is XCPN. Server virtualization will help you run multiple virtual machines on one physical machine at the same time. Also you can install many different operating systems on the same physical computer. This is the ISO file to install the virtualized operating system XCPN. I would follow the recommendation on the XCPN homepage to use Rufus to create a bootable USB stick. With XCPN you need a USB stick of at least 2 GB because the ISO file size is above 600 MB. In this video I use an 8 GB USB stick. Rufus is also my favorite bootable USB stick maker. If you have watched my videos you will see that I use Rufus a lot. Rufus is a small tool that requires no installation when you want to create a bootable USB stick. With a size of about 600 megabytes, it will take you about 2 minutes to complete the XCP installer. Make sure to remove the USB stick safely to avoid damage to the XCP installer. Then you plug the USB stick into the target computer and start the installation. You power on the target computer and access the BIOS or UEFI depending on your computer. You need to make sure your computer boots with the USB stick you just plugged in. Then save the changes and restart the computer. And we start to install XCPN operating system for the target computer. You will be asked to set up the keyboard. As you can see XCPN is freeware. This is a list of the hard drives attached to your computer, including a solid state drive and a USB stick. Of course I will install XCPN on a solid state drive. If your computer has more hard drives you need to make sure you choose the right hard drive you want to install. Next you will be asked to create a password and at least 6 characters. You write down this password to use in the next step of the video. Next is to set up the IP address for the server. I choose the default setting and will set up a static IP address for the server in the next step of the video. Next is to set the correct time zone where you live. At this point, you have finished setting up the necessary information and started to install the XCPN operating system. When XCPN installation is complete you will be asked to remove the USB stick and restart the computer. I will do as requested and remove the USB stick from the computer and restart the computer. 
you access the BIOS or UEFI and set the bootloader to a solid state drive. Then save the changes and restart the computer. It will take about 2 minutes to finish booting the operating system. When the screen appears the IP address of the XCPA server is the complete boot. So how to connect to XCPA server and create virtual machine? Watch the video to see how to do it. To connect to the server you use XCPA Center software. With XCPA Center you can manage multiple XCPA servers at the same time. To connect to XCPA server you need IP address, username and password. Password is set when you install XCPA operating system in previous step. Here is the basic information about your server. As mentioned in the previous section, I will set up a static app address for the virtualization server in this step. I set up a static app address and then change the gateway IP address. Next is to set up the DNS address. The main purpose when building a virtualization server is to create virtual machines and this is the step to create a new virtual machine. In this video I create a new Windows 10 virtual machine. You can create a new Linux virtual machine in the same way. To install Windows 10, of course you need an ISO file. I have prepared ISO file to install a Windows 10 operating system. On my Windows computer there are two ISO files available for Windows 10 operating system and Ubuntu operating system. Next I will share the file so that the XCPA server can use the Windows ISO file to install the operating system for the virtual machine. Next I will set up this folder sharing over the network. If your computer doesn't have a password, set one up. I will use this username and password so that the XCPA server can access the shared folder. Next I open a command window using the ifconfig command to display the IP address of the Windows computer. 
Go back to XCPA and you connected to the shared folder. Here you enter the IP address and the name of the shared folder. Next you enter your username and password. As you can see the list of ISO files has appeared for you to use and we move on to the next step. You set the processor, RAM, hard drive size and network configuration. The settings are similar to other hypervisors like VMware, VirtualBox. New Windows Virtuals have been created, next we install the operating system for it. How to install a Windows 10 operating system similar to how you install it for physical computers. If you want to create a Linux virtual machine, the same way. Hope this video helps you build your own virtualization server. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe.